Welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I am Angelia Joy. Thank you for joining me. Today we'll be pulling from the Enchanted Map by Colette Baron reed for the weekly Oracle offering. At this time I'll open with the invocation. You can, if you would like, set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready to understand. And so it is. Oh, <laughs> first card jumped. Oh, excuse me. Here we are. Second card. And one more, please. Thank you. Oh. We'll begin here in the beginning of the week. We have number 24 stuck in the mud. In the book, Colette recorded, you're being invited to stop and savor the wonder of your life. Becoming stuck is sometimes the only way to trick yourself into slowing down and looking around you. In fact, this is a sign that you need to shift your focus away from what you're doing and place your attention elsewhere. Struggling will only get you to even muddier places. Now is not the time to move forward, but to observe. Clarity about your circumstances will come a little later. Stop and find the joy in what you've been overlooking. Soon you'll be out of the mud, but for now, be still and know that Spirit has a plan for you. And as we work into the middle of the week, we have number 49, Talisman. Wow. In the book Colette recorded, a lesson truly learned is crystallized as earned wisdom. You have all you need for the success you seek. Wisdom allows you to recognize traps on the road and familiar patterns you want to avoid. It also enables you to quickly gather information about where you are on your journey. It helps you recognize your allies and know how to find the best routes along the way. Now you're at a place where you know the right things to do and the best choices to make. You really can't commit a mistake. Whatever your inquiry, great fortune awaits you, for you have the wisdom to arrive at the right decision. You've learned your lessons and earned the right to your success. And as we move here into the end of the week, <laughs> we have number 25, Metamorphosis. In the book, call it recorded. You are in the process of deep and beautiful change. Butterflies earn their wings through great effort. The process of change is often painful, for it is never without losses and sacrifices. If you are to transform from one form into another, a part of you needs to die. Letting go isn't easy, especially when you're used to thinking a certain way about your life and how you live it. Just as a snake sheds its dead skin, 
or a caterpillar dies so a butterfly can be born. You're required to release your old ideas and embrace a necessary change so you can live your best life. Perhaps you're being asked to let go of low self-worth, a dream that no longer serves you, a relationship that is draining, or unhealthy habits. Despite your fear, you must accept that this is a transformational time for you. There will be some loss involved, but you'll love what you become. I don't know how to get a more beautiful week laid out ahead of us. Um, this is really an encouraging space here with the elephant and his companion. You know, and there's not a lot being revealed. There's a very sedentary space to be in. But the middle of the week brings you into uh, the wisdom, you know, from from uh, finding the joy in the space that you're overlooking. You know, that allows some wisdom to manifest and come forth in your life that's going to lead into a beautiful and wondrous and uh, incredible process before. So I hope you enjoy your week. And I, uh, I believe that many things are possible. Many things are possible. So go forth and shine on. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be here again with you next week.